Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at several different ways we could have traded the ES this afternoon. This is our 30 minute chart in the ES. And in the afternoon session, we were looking for a channel breakout. We had a lot of indecision, dojis everywhere. And then we kind of went into a choppy mode right here. And so we put our channel line in at the bottom of this bar, which was 33.81 put it in at the top of this one which was 33.91 and a quarter because on the smaller time frame charts we were just chopping inside that range right there so we had several different ways we could have traded this first of all you had the uh, reversal doji that triggered to the downside and when then we broke out of the channel to the downside made a nice push down bounced off the 200 EMA which again we often do and then we left pretty bullish bar right here bottoming tail the body of this bar was buying triggered that back to the upside but then again lots and lots of indecision left this reversal doji right here which triggered to the downside another push down but couldn't stay under the 200 EMA again pulled back up bar closed right there then the next bar opened right here little tail by then the 5 and 13 had crossed to the downside and made another nice pretty solid push down broke under the 200 this time went all the way down to the 50 EMA but then once again couldn't stay below that went back above the 50 and back above the 200 so ES definitely showing a reluctance to sell off and in part we had been looking at our options chain earlier and we were anticipating that uh, we were going to close pretty close to the um, 3380 area in the SPX because at that point we would be taking all these calls out of the money and leaving all these puts out of the money so that seemed like a good place to close it so really weren't expecting necessarily a big break to the downside anyways and we definitely didn't the SPX and the ES did not want to sell off today but um, we had a good channel break right here that you could have traded off the 30-minute chart if you wanted to. We also had the same thing on our 5-minute chart. We had our channel drawn in right here off of our 5-minute chart. We had the high, the low, and then we were just pivoting inside between this significant pivot high right there, that significant pivot low right there. And you can see we were just pivoting inside that. 5 and 18 had crossed to the downside, giving us a bearish lean. Left the shooting star, triggered a bear flag. So you could have taken the flag in anticipation of the break or just waited for the channel break. Either way, again, a nice push to the downside. That break was 33.81. Had a low down there as low as uh, 69 and three quarters or basically 70. You know, that's $550 per contract though. So not bad. We had another option that you could have traded. This was our large bar Unirenko chart. Again, we had our 30 minute channel drawn in and we had a trend reversal breakout that triggered to the downside off the large bar Renko chart. You see we were making higher highs, higher lows. And then right here, we put in a pivot right there. Pivot wasn't a lower pivot low. Our previous pivot low was all the way down here. Again, you can see we were making higher highs, higher lows, higher high, higher lows, higher high. Then we put in the pivot. Wasn't a lower pivot low. Again, our previous pivot low was down here. Then we put in a lower pivot high right there. And then as that was triggering, that was the same place that the channel break was happening on the 30-minute chart and the 5-minute chart. So you could have taken the trend reversal breakout on the large bar chart. That would have been a potential way to play that. And then the final way that we had that we could have played that was off of our small bar Unirenko chart. Same thing. Again, we had our significant pivot low right there, our significant pivot high right here, and then we were just pivoting inside here. And we were actually watching this particular chart in the room, and we were thinking that there's a possibility we were going to break out to the downside. We were making lower highs for the most part, suggesting that this might break to the downside. And then ultimately we did break out of the channel to the downside, pulled back, had a wick off the 34 opportunity, take another trade to the downside. But any 
way you decided you wanted to trade that. We definitely had numerous setups. So if you're trading Renko charts, uh, we had setups. If you're trading a minute chart, we had setups. 30-minute chart, we had setups. So multiple ways that could have taken advantage of a downside move in the ES today. <laughs>